is Eric with DNC Extreme Industries. We're here today to show you guys our new uh, front disc brake kit for the Dana Model 25s, 27s, 30s, and 44s, 5 lug. And we're going to put it on a Dana 30. The Jeep and the Scout Dana 30s are virtually identical. We have a Jeep Dana 30 sitting here on the stands that we're going to go through the install for you and show you how simple this kit is to install. Okay, so this is our Dana 30 donor here for our disc brake conversion. Dana 30 uh, narrow track brakes and the outers mounting everything is identical to the International Scout Dana 30. So this video that we're doing right now will cover the install on both of these axles. So first off, you know, you're going to remove the drum and then we're going to pull the hub off. snap ring Once we get to this point, you've got to take the inner uh, hub nuts off, so there should be a uh, lock washer in there that you need to straighten the ears out on. Pop the lock washer out. Move the other hub nut. Your hub should slide right off, like, just like that. Okay. Then we've just got to pull the backing plate off. A bigger impact. Now you need to remove the backing plate. It usually takes a little flat. And there we have it. We're down to the spindle, which is the turnaround point on this kit. At this point, we're down to the turnaround point where we can start installing the kit. Um, I would recommend if you get to this point to go ahead and pull your spindle, check your U-joint, your inner spindle bearing while you're down this far. 
But for the purpose of this video, we're going to not do that. We'll cover that in another video. So right now, next thing you do is put the caliper mount on. Get it on just like that. And then put your nuts back on. and tighten your neck up. Okay, now we have to take your uh, hub and knock the studs out and mount the rotor to it. So the next step in the process is to go ahead and knock the studs out of your hub because we have to put different studs in to mount the rotor to the back side of the hub. Okay, with the studs out of the hub, you need to check, make sure the back surface is clean, there's nothing sticking up on it or anything. As you can see, this one's machined all nice and flat and smooth. You take the rotor and you place it on the back of the hub face down, just like that. And then you're going to insert your studs from the back side. And then seat your studs. After you've got your studs all seated, now we can put the hub and rotor back onto the axle. Install your outer bearing and washer. And then start back with your uh, inner spindle nut. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the spindle nuts. Put the inner one on first. Go ahead and set the preload according to your uh, owner's manual. Then the lock washer and the outer nut. Lock the outer nut down, and then bend your uh, lock washer over to keep everything tight.
ready to go ahead and install the brake shoes or brake pads in the uh, caliper. Make sure you put your retainer clip on the inside one. And put your outer pad in and you're ready to install the caliper. Slide the caliper over the rotor. Insert your uh, caliper bolts from the inside. And tighten your caliper bolts up. Go ahead and tighten up the bolts in the caliper. They take a 3 8 Allen wrench. Now you're ready to go ahead and install your uh, brake hose. Make sure you use your crush washers. You have your banjo bolt. Put one crush, crush washer on the outside. Goes through the hose like so. And then crush washer on the inside. And then it's ready to go on the caliper. Pull the dust seal out of the caliper. Go ahead and install your hose. Go ahead and snug that down. This will go to your existing brake line on the frame. And now you're ready to install the locking hub. You've got the inner part of the locking hub on. Now all you got to do is put your snap ring in and the outer part of the hub and we're done with this side of the install. Make sure the snap ring seats. Install the outer part of your hub. Install the cap screws and we're done.